so let's head to the entrance of Bahari. So we can start at the beginning and then I'll take you guys through the route that I run it. Like I said, like 1 to 2 a.m. And you want to make sure you're not using a smoke candle while you do this. Because otherwise you're not going to be scaring off all the common bugs that you want to get rid of. But then, like, make sure you keep an eye out, like, maybe 10, 5 seconds before 3 a.m. Make sure you pop that candle because I've had rainbow butterflies spawn directly on top of me where I stood at 3 a.m. And that's no fun because they immediately dart off and they fly so fast. Uh, you also want to make sure you have your buzzy jar on at 3 a.m. because otherwise you're not going to be able to see them on the map. We got everybody? Is this everybody? Okay, here we go. So, this is the route you want to take to clear out all the trash bugs. And get this hill. And then come back up this way. this area. It's going to be a little bit weird. They have some very specific spots that I've found them. And then up here. And then through here. I wasn't even paying attention to the rares that came up. <laughs> Alright, so this spot back here is very important. I have found so many back here. This is a great spot to find rare bugs because people don't really travel back here that often. So, like, come up here just a little bit, and then down through here. Slide around to this side. And then through this canyon. This canyon's pretty good for them, too. Glow bugs. This route that I'm taking is also perfect for glow bugs at night, so this is like my main rare farming route. But I'll highlight the best spots for the butterflies. Alright, so once you're done in this canyon. And come up this way. And up here is another good spot for them. Because again, most people don't run up here very often. And this is also, the same goes for fairy mantis. They show up up here a lot too. Up there and then on this little cliffside. Oops, scared the chapa. After that, just come through this spot. There's a cricket. Alright. So. Once you're at this spot, come through here. You want to make sure you're getting rid of all these dumb little crickets around here because this is a good spot for them. Alright, and then when you guys are done, meet me up here. So next, we're going to hop over to the top of this canyon. I'll just let you know that this path down here, you will not find any bugs ever. Nothing spawns in here. So, 
don't even need to bother with it. Just jump over here. And once you're up here, the only thing you're really going to find up here are crickets and uh, glow bugs and fairy mantis. So you don't really need to worry about this spot right now. But I want to show you my absolute favorite spot. Right here. So I recommend trying to end your 3 o'clock, like, right here. Like, at 3 o'clock, you know, be waiting here. However you have to do your route, I've seen two of them spawn together in this exact spot. One of them was a star, and they were just, like, right here floating around each other at the same time. So this spot, I almost always find one up here. And after the spot, don't even bother going up to Pavel. There's no point in wasting your time on all those cliffs. If you see a bug up there on your jar, I guarantee it's still going to be up there in five minutes because no one wants to go up there. And I don't think I've ever seen a rainbow butterfly up there. So I always just hop down here. I realize I'm kind of like, I'm not really taking the route that I would usually take. I'm going all over the place because I'm trying to show you guys the very best spots for them. Uh, back here is a good spot. Because again, it's further, far enough away from the road that people don't see it. Sometimes it's hidden behind the trees. I've seen a couple there. And... I also like to clear out this little spot because I've found a couple over here. Who'd we lose? Oh, there she is. Okay. I don't bother going around Hodari's house. It's too commonly, like, walked. You're not going to find one there unless the server is almost dead. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen one over there. So... If you come up through here and go through these planes, the thing with this spot is people run through here all the time. It's super common. Oh, there's a fairy mantis. So the likelihood of finding one, unless you're right here at 3 a.m., is very low because someone's probably going to run right by it and spook it. Let's get this fairy mantis and then I'll show you the last spot. Where's, a? Uh... Oh. Lucan, come here, come here. Oh. But yeah, this big field down there, it, I don't really waste my time with, like I said, people are always running through it. You're not likely to find something unless you're right there at 3 o'clock. You guys go ahead and kill the Paleum, I don't need it. Alright, last couple spots. This is another spot that's really common for people to be running through, so you're not as likely to find them. But if you're over in this area around 3am, I have seen quite a few, like right under this bridge before. And the last spot that I'll usually come look, because it's so out of the way that most people, like, it'll be around for a little while without be getting spooked off, is over by these cliffs. Like, right along the edge. Most people just run right through the middle of this canyon, so it's less likely that it's getting spooked off at 3am, so you can come here last.
And then there's one more spot to show you, and it is my second favorite. This is another one of those spots that I've... Almost daily I find one up here. Usually, I'd say every other day, there's one up here. Right at 3 a.m. If you get up here, you know, before then and clear out all the, the junk bugs... You're pretty likely to find one up along this road right here. And the nice part is, if you say you're up on that cliff where the bridge to Pavel is, you don't see any over there, you can jump down over to Hideaway and port right over here and run straight up there to see if it's there right as, like, as close to three as you can. Because, I mean, some people do go up this road for the lighthouse and stuff, but... It's usually so far up there that most people don't scare it off. If you get there quick enough, you should be fine. And that is my Rainbow Butterfly Bahari tour. Any questions? Again, most important things, make sure you have a smoke candle on by three. Make sure your buzzy jar is going by three. Try to clear out the trash if you can, but those spots that I highlighted as the best spots, try to make sure you're in those areas at 3. So you can grab them up before someone runs by them. <laughs> 